China is widely acknowledged to be the world leader in infrastructure construction. Among the world's tallest bridges, eight Chinese bridges are in the top 10, and 81 are in the top 100. Aside from that, China is noted for holding numerous other records in technological advancements. Today, we'll be seeing the different technologies used by the Chinese in the development of these structures. Before we get into the details, please like and subscribe to TK. Feel free to share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. China is known for its bridge engineering because of several world-renowned bridge projects that have had a significant international impact. Six of the world's 10 longest sea crossing bridges, including the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, the Hangzhou Bay Bridge, the Donghai Bridge, and the Zhaxing Shaoxing Sea Bridge is built in China, according to statistics. China also has seven of the top 10 cabled state bridges and six of the top 10 suspension bridges in the world. Furthermore, Chinese enterprises construct several difficult to build bridges across the world that set records. The San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge, which opened to traffic in September 2013, is the world's most complicated and longest single towered, earthquake proof, and self anchored suspension span. Chinese enterprises also built Malaysia's second Penang Bridge, the largest sea crossing bridge in Southeast Asia, which opened to traffic in March 2014. On December 2014, the Zemun Borka Bridge, China's first major infrastructure investment in Europe, opened to traffic in Serbia's capital Belgrade, transforming the city into a landscape above the Danube River. The Kigamboni Bridge, built by Chinese companies, opened to traffic on April 2016. It's Africa's largest cable stayed sea crossing bridge south of the Sahara Desert. The Mohammed VI Bridge, Africa's largest cable stayed bridge, opened to the traffic in July 2016. Locals refer to the bridge as the Dreaming Bridge. Unprecedented chances for the growth of bridge engineering in China have been brought about by the reform and opening up of China and the corresponding economic development leading to a steadily growing scale of bridge construction. By the end of 2021, China has constructed almost 961,000 bridges. The Chinese bridge industry's remarkable achievements have been highly acknowledged by society. These accomplishments are the result of the extensive scientific and technological study conducted by China's bridge engineering sector in response to its own needs. Material technology, survey and design technology, Construction technology and management and maintenance technology have all achieved significant advances in the business. Material technology. Materials are the foundation of bridge engineering. Hence, the development of extra long bridges has been dependent on material technology advancement. China has so far mastered domestic manufacturing of concrete, steel, cable, composite materials, and intelligent materials. Some of these materials represent cutting edge technologies. C50 and C60 concretes are popular in China. Fiber, lightweight, and ultra-high performance concrete have also been studied and are being used more frequently. Steel development in China has gone through several stages, including low carbon, low alloy, high strength, and high performance. Currently, Q345 and Q370 steels are commonly used, with Q420 following suit. Q500 steel has been developed and used successfully in projects such as the Shanghai Nantong, Yangtze River Bridge, and others. 700 MPA grade steel is now being developed, and epoxy coated steel bars and stainless steel bars are being introduced gradually. 1770 MPA steel wire and 1860 MPA steel strands have been localized and used in engineering. 2000 MPA steel wire, a zinc aluminum alloy, has also been produced and effectively applied. Fiber reinforced plastic or FRP composite materials have been used in bridge repair and strengthening, and relevant application research on cables has also been conducted. Memory alloys, piezoelectric materials, optical fibers, and intelligent self-repairing concrete have all been explored and used. China has a huge region with diverse geological and topographic circumstances, which has encouraged the diversification of bridge types and led to the advancement of survey and design technologies. Modern spatial information technologies can be used to collect geological interpretation maps, orthophoto maps, digital elevation models, or DEMs, point cloud data, and more for surveying. These technologies include remote sensing, global positioning systems, geographic information systems, and others. Drone-based photography technology has made great strides in surveying, providing accurate geological interpretation data for design, support for accurate calculations of earthwork volume and engineering quantity, and a basic data platform for intelligent line selection and three-dimensional design. Similar improvements have been made to design theories which have progressed from the allowable stress approach 
to the performance-based design method. Additionally, the field of sustainable design, which is based on the idea of sustainable development, is still emerging. The international acceptance of Chinese bridge technology has considerably benefited from developments in design theory and methodologies. Technologies appropriate for local conditions have been devised based on the four different types of bridges, such as grider bridges, arch bridges, cable state bridges, and suspension bridges. Innovative bridge designs like the split steel box girder suspension bridge, the hollow continuous steel bridge, and the concrete-filled steel tube arch bridge are among these. Other examples are the structural system of a cable state bridge with a static limit and dynamic damping. These accomplishments have led to the development of novel bridge types, including low-rise, cable state bridges, cable state tie arch bridge, and cable state suspended cable bridges. Together, these accomplishments provide a contemporary system of bridge types and constructions, with a suspension bridge, cable state bridge, girder bridge, and arch bridge serving as its primary constituents. Construction Technologies Developments in superhigh bridge tower construction technology and machinery include hydraulic climbing formwork for concrete bridge towers, superhigh concrete pumping technology, construction technology for prefabrication and hoisting, and high precision assembly for steel bridge towers. Internationally advanced levels have been attained for the maximum casting section length of a concrete bridge tower, 6 meters per section for a section height of 6 meters. The construction efficiency of the climbing formwork, 12D per section, the tower top inclination error, 1 over 42,000, and lifting speed under the maximum lifting weight, 7.1 meter minute 1. A 5200T tower crane has been independently developed and used in actual projects. Important pieces of machinery have been independently designed, including the floating crane, bridge erecting machine, bridge deck crane, riding cable crane, huge gigantic crane, and sliding formwork equipment. The riding cable crane's 900T lifting capacity in its rotating construction technology, which has a rotating body length of 190 meters and a rotating body weight of 22,400 tons, are at an advanced level by worldwide standards. Manufacture and installation of cables. Hot extruded polyethylene protective cable technology for cable state bridges and the hot extruded cable sheath are both used. It has been created and is commonly used in cable state bridges and arch bridges to erect super long state cables using a soft hard combination and three stage hauling. Prefabricated parallel wire strands or PPWS main cable installation technology has been discovered. For instance, the main span of the Beipanzhang Bridge, which was built utilizing the stiffening skeleton construction technology on the Shanghai Kunming Railway, is 445 meters long, which is significantly greater than bridge spans in other nations, the largest of which is 210 meters. Stiffening skeleton encased concrete casting technology has applied the three stage continuous vacuum assisted pumping method to increase conveyance efficiency to 30.8 M3H1. The Chao Chanmen Bridge's main span is 552 meters long and was constructed utilizing the cantilever assembling erection through cable state suspension technique. The greatest lifting tonnage possible while using the rotating arch rib construction technique is 17,300 tons, and a vertical rotation technique has also been devised. The large section lifting method has a 2,800 tons maximum lifting weight. Larger tonnage cable cranes with a maximum lifting weight of 420 tons and a height of 202 meters have been designed as construction machinery. In addition, the industry is seeing an increase in the use of the arch rib building method. In terms of management and maintenance, a two-level strategy has been devised that focuses on preventive maintenance reinforced by corrective maintenance. A variety of sensors and monitoring goods such as a centimeter-level real-time dynamic differential global positioning system and a full series fiber grading meter are widely utilized in the field of monitoring technologies. Several signal acquisition devices have been explored and built, including a microsecond clock synchronous vibration signal conditioner and a 100 Hz high-speed scanning fiber demodulator. Inspection-related technologies include non-destructive testing of bridge concrete, the detection of fatigue cracks in steel structures, the detection of underwater pile foundations, the identification of damage using high-definition cameras, the testing of bridge static loads, and a variety of testing tools like cable inspection robots and bridge inspection cars. New techniques and procedures have been used for bridge maintenance and reinforcement in terms of reinforcing technology, such as external pre-stressing reinforcement and carbon fiber composite materials. Technologies for replacing cable or hangers and major girders as well as for reinforcing them are advancing quickly. 
where cathodic protection, new coating, and joint protection technologies have been separately researched and developed. A comprehensive technical system for bridge maintenance, repair, and strengthening has been devised, shifting the emphasis from passive to active protection. Bridge engineering in China has launched on a successful path over the past 40 years, and they still keep on developing more and more methods. So, what do you think about this technological advancement in China? What are your thoughts on them expanding further in different fields? Can they overcome every hurdle?